Hello my YouTube users, this is Sly here and today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iPhone 3G 3.1 firmware. I know you guys been, if you've been trying to jailbreak your phone, you've been getting a lot of problems, especially on Windows, because on Mac you have um, other software, I forgot what it's called, but yeah, on Windows we're having a problem because they haven't really made it easy for us, but I have the perfect solution for you guys today. Especially if you already um, found a way to, way to jailbreak it, get city on your phone, and have no service on your phone. Because uh, I jailbroke my phone before, and I had no service, so city wasn't working, no calls, no texting. So now I figured out a way to get city and get it all working on 3.1 firmware. So I'll show you guys, and I'll prove it to you. Okay. Alright, let's go to settings. Alright, and go to general about. Alright, 3.17C144. That proves to you guys that I am on 3.1 firmware and the main reason why a lot of people updated to the 3.1 was because of the MMS and it does work, trust me. Alright, now we're gonna go back and I'm gonna show you that there is City of 3.1 and it works. Okay, you see that it works now, right? Alright, well, for all you guys who have been having trouble to get this, I will show you step by step how to get it back onto your phone and be a happy jailbreaker again it's a really really wrong process I don't feel like scaring you guys but I have to tell you All right, from here we are gonna go ahead and we are gonna downgrade to 3.0 or 3.0.1 firmware and once you do that you have to jailbreak your phone and then update with the custom firmware Alright, so let's go ahead and um, downgrade to 3.0 because I'm already on 3.1 and Joe broken. So we're going to go ahead and downgrade downgrade to 3.0. And if you've already tried um, shift restoring and downgrading to a 3.0 custom firmware and you've been getting errors, I will help you with, out with that too. Alright, so let's open up Tunes. And do not update to the 3.1.2 firmware because you will definitely lose everything on your iPhone. Alright, that is my iPhone. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, now in order to downgrade, you have to put your iPhone into DFU mode. And to be able to do that, you have to hold your um, home button for eight seconds until you hear it on your computer so ready one two three go one two three four five six seven eight hold the home button one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay now you should be in DFU mode see I'm pressing the buttons and it's not nothing's turning on so that means you're in DFU mode alright from here you're gonna go ahead give me a second See, it's kind of hard, so I'm going to have to do it one more time. Sorry about that, guys. It 
it is really complicated, but just stick with me. If you really want your jailbroken iPhone, and I guarantee you, you will jailbreak it today, especially on 3G. Because all the other um, the other iPod touches, 3GS, they've all got it easy now. Because they're really getting the, more of the attention because they're they're the newer things to jailbreak, especially the 3GS. And they don't really pay that much attention to Windows users. Windows, Vista, Windows. Okay. So. I guess we had to find our way around it, and I will be helping you guys out with that. And obviously, you see the Apple logo, which I mean, the pineapple logo, which definitely means you're jailbroken. I'm trying to figure out a way to get my Apple logo back because I like it better for some reason. Okay, let's go ahead and try this again. You have to hold. I did it wrong last time, so you have to hold the power and the home button for eight seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Okay, my iPhone is officially in DFU mode, and iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. You must blah 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 before you know usable iTunes. All right, give me a second. Alright, so now we're gonna now we're gonna go ahead and downgrade to the whatever you guys want to downgrade to 3.0, 3.0.1, whichever firmware you want to downgrade to. I will be putting the link to the right in the info bar. Alright, okay, let's go ahead and press OK when this comes up, and from here. I'm gonna shift, press shift for Windows, and I'm not gonna talk about the Mac users because I don't care about them. No offense, but if you do have a Mac, you use the option key, which will be right here. Okay, you press shift and press restore at the same time, and this window should pop up, which should let you pick your firmware. Alright, and I am gonna go ahead and pick. the 3.0.1 firmware and let it go ahead and update so we'll let that go through guys I know if you've already tried to downgrade and you've gotten an error and usually for most of the people you will get the 1015 error and once that 1015 error comes up I will guide you from that I know some of you probably made it that far and then from there you're like uh, forget it 